years ago, I was at a training event for Caltrans and they showed this little video of the movable scaffolding systems and it's kind of shaped like this and it, it lowers, it opens, moves past the column, comes back together, gets lifted back in place and then magically fills with concrete in the cartoon. Bridge technology has a unique challenge in that to some extent you have to do the bridge building and put cranes on top of the structure that you're actually building. So it's not something that's stationary, it's on the ground. It's a crane that's actually on the structure itself that's being used to provide support. The story behind the MSS is, is actually very fascinating. Uh, they were designed in Denmark. They were built in China. All of the design calculations were in Euro code, which doesn't apply to the state of California. Our contractor had to hire and provide in, from in-house staff, but also hire uh, California registered professional engineers to effectively redesign what was done in Finland. We, we got these miles of shipping containers, so literally building them a uh, nut, bolt, and washer from, from the ground up. We we're, were, were building it, we used a little bit of forethought rather than build it and try and set it up in the air. What we did was uh, we, 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 re we readjusted, we put it at the low abutment, at uh, abutment one, and what we did then was we built up the soil beneath it so that when we were putting everything together, we weren't you know way high up in the air, we were down near ground level. The initial impression was that's an awful lot of money and an awful lot of time that's being used to assemble something. I certainly hope that by assembling it, it does what it's intended to do, which is work more efficiently building a bridge. To build a span of false work that's 200 feet long, that's over 100 feet tall, could take six to eight months, maybe even a year. And this movable scaffolding system could do that in 12 hours. The mobile scaffolding system thing weighs about three million pounds, and um, when it has the wet concrete on it, it weighs another three million pounds. The weight from that MSS that is being imposed on the column is the largest load that the column will ever see in its entire life. And when I first learned that, that was something that really kind of blew my mind. So these are monstrous machines. Uh, but they did their job and uh, were quite pleased with uh, the way they work. To be involved in something that feels like a pioneering element in the field is really exciting. A lot of engineering and a lot of analysis that, that went into this and we nailed it on the first time and we had acceptance from Caltrans and we probably set the standard for the next time an MSS is used in California.